he's preparing his closest friends for that and they're wondering about what all that means. So this Sunday, the second Sunday of Lent, we're invited to consider the story of the transfiguration of Jesus. It's a really powerful story that fits so well with this Lenten journey time. So we see Jesus heading up to the mountaintops with three of his closest friends, his closest disciples, James, John and Peter, and up there uh, has a spiritual experience that they're part of. Uh, they're changed forever because of what they see up there with him. Um, the Gospel of Mark speaks about how his whole being is illuminated, even his clothing, uh, that in that space there's a sense of the history of the ancestors that are part of the Jewish story. So Elijah and Moses are there in the space as well, so present that there's conversation between them. Uh, and this changes the the, um, the disciples that are, are with Jesus forever. Some, some speak about how maybe it's preparing them for what's ahead in their roles in leading the foundation of the early church. But certainly they're coming to understand Jesus is the Christ in this moment in a powerful way. Uh, it's a time too where the story shifts within the gospel and we start to see that Jesus is preparing for what is ahead for the suffering that he knows is going to be part of the end of, of his earthly life. Uh, and he is preparing his closest friends for that and they're wondering about what all that means. Uh, I've really enjoyed Jo Chichester's reflections on this when she talks about how we too need to have these transformative moments. That maybe that's exactly what we're inviting in this time of Lent. Uh, she writes about how until we find ourselves with new hearts, with more penetrating insights, with fewer compulsions, less need for the transient, for the material, and a greater awareness of the spiritual pulse of life, that um, we haven't understood the story completely. So we're invited today to touch into that and to, to make space for that in this Lenten time as we prepare for Easter.